Hi, and welcome to the homework for lesson 28, grade one, module one. Get your name on there first. And here's our directions. We're going to read a story and make a math drawing to solve. And you'll see for this one right here, they've already given us a number bond. There's a little box for our picture. And these are going to be all, these are all going to be subtraction stories. They're all going to be takeaways. There were six hot dogs on the grill. Two finished cooking and are removed. How many remain? Remain, how many are left behind? So six hot dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you might remember <clears throat> for subtraction, this symbol here, subtraction, looks like kind of like the line I make when I cross stuff out. So this is a, this is had six, crossed out two, and how many are left? One, two, three, four, four. So there's our number bond. We had six. How many did we cross out? Two. That's our subtrahend. That's how many we took away. And then counted our differences. How many are left? There are four hot dogs remaining on the grill. This is the, this is the, uh, word problem process that we have when we have a couple of sentences to read two or three sentences to read we're going to read them first that's r we're going to draw a math picture d for draw and then we're going to write an equation right write an equation or write a number bond and then we also write an answer statement number two we're going to do that with all of these bob buys eight new toy cars and he takes out three out of the bag how many are still in the bag so he starts with eight that's our menu end that's how many you have before you subtract and the toy cars i'm just these aren't going to be fancy i'm just drawing boxes for cars one two three four you can just draw circles five six seven Eight, I like drawing in five group rows in my pictures because it helps helps me to see the numbers better. And I can see that's five and three more. That's eight. He takes three out of the bag. So crossing out, right? Subtraction. And now we have a little less. Like, you know, it's the first one. They gave us the menu end and they gave us the, the menu end and the number bond. The menu end is always going to be the largest number because it's what you start with. And when you start taking away, you're going to have less. So you're going to have smaller numbers. We started with the 8. We crossed out 3. And how many do we have left? You can see the 5 group right there, 5. So we started with 8. That's our menu end. We subtracted 3. That's our subtrahend. And our difference is 5. How many cars are still in the bag? There's the picture right there. There's 5 left in the bag. Kira sees seven birds in the tree. Three birds fly away. How many are still in the tree? Okay, so we're going to draw seven birds. And uh, I'm not going to draw birds, really. I'm just going to draw. I'm just going to make circles. Because you really just need pictures that you can count for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let me finish these circles. All right, seven. Uh, three of them fly away. So there's one, two, three. How many are still in the tree? There's one, two, three, four left in the tree. So what did I start with before I subtracted? I had seven. How many did I cross out? That's my subtrahend. That's three. And how many were left after I subtracted? Four. Same thing for subtraction sentence. Our menu end goes here. That's how many we have first before we subtract. And we subtracted three. We had four left. What was our difference? Four birds are still in the tree. One, two, sorry. One, two, three, four birds are left. You don't have to fill your circles in like that, like I did mine. 
I just did that just to show you that I was counting them. Next page. Brad has nine friends over for a party and six friends get picked up. How many friends are still at the party? So we need nine friends. I'm going to draw stick people. One, two, and I have to draw them short because I need two rows here. Two, that's three, four, five, right, and for a ten frame, nine means I'm going to have one missing in the ten frame. So there's nine friends. Six of them get picked up, right, so that's five, six. How many are still at the party? And you can see in the picture there's three left. So we started with nine. Our menu end. Our subtrend is how many we crossed out or subtracted. We have six friends that we subtracted, and there were three left. That's our difference. Nine minus six equals three. Three friends are still at the party. Number five. Jordan was playing with ten cars. Jordan could be a boy or a girl. Jordan is a he in this story. He gave seven cars to Kate. So how many cars is Jordan playing with now? So he starts with ten cars. I do boxes before I'll do that again. One, two, three, four, five. And you can draw circles too. Just don't be too fancy with this because you don't want your math homework to last all night. You just need pictures you can count. You can even make X's, and that, that will be fine. As long as you can tell which ones are crossed out and which ones aren't when you're done. Uh, so he, he gave seven of these away. That's five, six, seven. And you can see how many are left. One, two, three. So he started with ten cars. His menu end is what he had before he subtracted. He subtracted the seven he gave to Kate. That's our subtrahend, and the difference what's left is three. And our number bond is now a sideways number bond, right? But the two parts we know are 7 and 3. And 10. He's playing with how many cars now? Don't forget, you have the picture. It's there for a reason. 1, 2, 3. After you've done all this stuff for the numbers, you could, especially the number bond, you can forget which number was the one that you were trying to figure out. Go back to the picture. Three cars now. Tony takes four books from the bookshelf. There were ten books on the shelf to start. How many books are on the shelf now? But be careful when you read these questions because you might see the four first and then see the ten and think, oh, it's got to be four minus ten, right? Because the four you read first and the ten you read second. But that's not that doesn't make sense, does it? Because you can't take ten away from four. You have four things. You can't cross out ten. So you've got to pay attention to the words that you read. You can't just look at the numbers and skip reading the sentence. So a lot of times the numbers are the easiest things to notice in the sentence because they're not words. So it's the, the words around the numbers that are usually important on the shelf to start. Takes four from the bookshelf. So it's the words here that are more important than the numbers because you won't know what to do, what the right thing is to do with the numbers unless you read the words right around them and how many are on the shelf now. So we, we knew there were 10 to start. So let's draw the 10 books. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's our 10 books. Then he took four of them there. And how many are on the shelf now? There's six. So we started with ten. And the two parts of ten were four and six. <clears throat> Looking at our subtraction equation, our menu end is ten. That's what we started with before, right? To start. And he took four and he had six left. So there's our subtrahend. Four and our difference six. How many books are on the shelf now? Well, if you can't remember which number is part of your answer, look, go back to the picture. It's 
there for a lot of, there's a lot of reasons to have that math picture and the <clears throat> one of the things that really helps sometimes is going back and looking at it make sure you're counting the right thing and you're writing down the right number for your answer <clears throat>